M0FXB, welcome to my channel. ICOM 705 above and the RS918HF SDR touchscreen transceiver below. Now there's a massive difference between these two. This one, the RS918, is about £260 delivered. The 705 is about £1,400, £1,300 delivered. Big difference in the price. Neither have antenna tuners, but the ICOM 705 does have VHF, UHF, D-Star, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So why even show these together, you'll say? They're completely different transceivers. Because HF-wise, if I turn up the 918... Not the best conditions now, they were good half an hour ago. It's the 918, I'll turn down the 918, turn up the 705. Turn that one down, turn up the 918. They both have waterfalls. If you tap here, there's your different waterfalls. The 705 does have that nice oscilloscope. Menu audio, there you go, like so. The 918, if you hold down the band buttons, you get a big scope, hold them again. You get this little spectrum tile, and then if you hold them again, you get both. This is the Nazir firmware uh, that is a free download. The 918, everything is on the front button-wise. You've got your mode, changing the mode there. DSP functions here. And if you tap the DSP, it all comes up on screen. Power, 15 watt radio. The 705 is 10 with, with, external, with external power source. Now, you can get a battery for the 918. And they, you can purchase one of these with a battery pre-installed. And then the same price. Then you've got lots of extra functions here. You can either push these F buttons or touch the screen. See that? VFOA, VFOB. Tap DSP, see if we can get that, just tap that NR, noise reduction. Tap the meters, audio, ALC, SWR, RIT, AGC, volume. You've got TX, TCXO at the top there showing the temperature. A little tune button that just sends out. There is no tuner, but it sends out a signal that's good for tuning. And there's more buttons underneath here. If I lower this down, you've got an AF button here. Let's switch in here, look, volume and comp. These do work, these touch screens. DSP, actually no, that's the wrong one, RF. <laughs> Which is ch changing here. BAS, SLO, BAS minus there at the moment. Adjustments here. And then underneath here, RIT. Now there's quite a learning curve. I would say the icon's simpler to use. The... 918 is a very customizable radio. If you go to the menu here, you've got this configuration and you start at the top standard menu to see what's in it. See, it says show there. You turn show and then you can see all the settings there. So it's a very, it was designed as a kit. So you can really customize this and there is complete instructions on how to, to set things up and quite a few videos as well. And I've been watching videos by N5ID You've got your, if we back out just by turning, let's have a look now, exit here, and you can hold it. If you hold the exit, it saves the settings. Every color on the screen can be customized within this menu, so we just press exit once to come out. 
change in the frequency look you've got the VFO here and you can change your step here at the bottom if you want or you can actually just push the VFO and that does the same thing a lot of functions that are touch screen you can do changing the bands there and there's the bands I can't see 50 megs but everything else I see now if we go back up to the 705 Turn it up a bit. Australia, thank you. 7174 there. Go to uh, function. No, actually, exit that. Menu, scope. There's your scope. Everything is customizable. You can just make that scope a bit nicer. You can load your DR repeaters. If I hold down DR, oh, I need to load the wrist, but this will go into DR mode and work as a D-Star radio and it'll work excellent as well. have the full functionality of DR. GPS, when it gets a lock, you tap here, you'll get a lock there. There's no GPS in the 918. There's no VHF, UHF. Also, look, if you tap the screen on here, look, airband straight away. There's no airband on the 918. You can enter your frequency and you've got broadcast radio. Possibly there's some broadcast radio stations that you could reach on this. I haven't actually tried on the 918, possible. And then at the top here, we've got, if we go into the menu, set, scroll down, you're going to see Bluetooth, wireless, LAN, SD card as well. So, of course, you get, a, you know, the 705 to me is one of the best transceivers I've ever seen. We just go to enter, go for... 33.550, enter. That's my D star. And then go to, not AM, DV. If my hotspot comes to life, you will you will hear it. Because it is, you know, it's a D star radio. You've got the time. So I thought I'd show them together. Turn that one down, turn this one up. Let's have a look here. That's off band. Someone calling on 7151. Let's try it. And look, we're only on two watts. M0FXB, M0FXB, QSL. Just turn off my let me turn off the icon. I don't like to transmit with it on like that. I haven't got my tuner on. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Got a feeling my SWR is a bit too high. Mike Zero, Foxtrot, X-Ray, Bravo, M0, FXB, QSL. Worth a try, hey? Anyway, thanks for watching my channel. 7-3, all the best.